No, like I said, like this quick like uh, thing, like when you know Jungle Baby will start like uh, this whole Jiu Jitsu thing, like it's like in, like uh, Leroy, Illinois, and then we start, then we got a school there, we got to, you know, once start build the association, the first association, did they go through the second association, did they go through, we kept moving around, kept moving around until we finally found the guy who was start to train with us as a white belt, green belt, blue belt, purple, brown, family guy, took the school, do an amazing job, I'm so happy to have him running, you know, the, the one he made over there. So, Ed Lemonier, <laughs> I looked at Ed, I said, you know what, I want to get my black belt with Ed, that we've been training so long together, and Ed said, as long as you don't quit, we're getting our black belts together, and I don't think this is quite as fast as we had in mind, but <laughs> without this man, without her, made me throw up on the mats today. <laughs> <laughs> just walked up to Doug and I, we were training. We got some brown belts today. We don't have belts for them. What says belt you wear? So then Doug and I are training. We're like, it's too soon. We're looking and we looked at all the other brown belts. Like, those are the guys. Those are the guys that are getting their black belts. And, um, you know, I had this trip booked. Like I always do. As soon as it comes open, book the trip. And... You know, my wife, she's the strongest person that I know. She's taken on so much the last two years. Uh, our father-in-law's been, my father-in-law's been living with us for two years. And I said, you need a vacation. You know, we're gonna make this camp a family vacation. We're gonna go early. We're gonna go into the beach. We're gonna visit your brother. And then we're gonna do another little vacation before we head home. And before I left for the trip, I was pushing all my teammates, like, you got to go to the camp. The camp is awesome. You know, I remember, you know, my parents lived in Haines City. And John was like, oh, we're going to do this camp. It's going to be open, you know, just for the team. I'm like, I'm on vacation. I don't know if, you know, I'm going to have time. So I didn't go. And then the second camp, and every camp after, I've been to it. So all my teammates, I pushed them. you got to go. you got to go. And... You know, Coach April, she heads our um, our youth program, and she asked me, she goes, so you're pushing a lot of people to go to the camp. You, you think you're getting your black belt? I said, no, I, I probably have a four, maybe five years for, for black belt. And, you know, my wife, you know, my father-in-law, they almost didn't make it. And, you know, I almost didn't make it because the jiu-jitsu school that I started at, you know, the guy was burnt out. He said, I'm done teaching jiu-jitsu. So, you know, I talked to my wife and I said, you know, here's an opportunity. You know, the guy's not marketing the school. You know, I really like the team. And she's like, you have three months to put the money back in or you've got to close the school down. And without her support, you know, I wouldn't be where I'm standing today. And things are set for you, right? You have control of what happens, but then 
there's a higher power that says I've got a plan for you and it's just going to be a matter of time. I trained in Hapkido when I was 18 and I didn't meet John Graybill until I was like 24, 25. And John and I got talking and he's like, where did you train Hapkido at? And I told him, Sporex Martial Arts, 04 Illinois. And he goes, man, I handled their marketing. I went in and I talked to them about their school and how they could run their programs. Literally, two months after I left to go to Illinois State University. When I was at Illinois State University, there was a martial arts school that I went to go train at. It turned out it was John Graybill's, but he had sold it right before I joined that school. John, as you know, has got a lot of things going on, writing books. At the radio station that I worked at, John's office was below my office. We never crossed paths until the school that I was at said, I'm done, you need to go train with Mike Lavaza, and he's under Hobson Mora. And then that's when I met John, and I met all these wonderful people who helped me be a black belt. So things are gonna be rough for you, but keep pushing through because all the chokes, all the arm bars, all the crazy stuff people pull on me, it's worth it. The reward is worth it. So thank you very much for all of your support.